Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In our today's video, we will talk about multiplying mixed numbers. So without further ado, let's do this topic. What we have here is that we have two different examples for me to show you how to multiply mixed numbers. So how are we going to multiply them? The first step is that you need to convert these mixed numbers into improper fractions. So how do we convert them? First, multiply your denominator to the whole number that is 3 times 2, which is equal to 6. And then add this 6 to your numerator, 6 plus 1, that is equal to 7. And then copy your denominator 3. So let me repeat, how did we convert this mixed number into improper fraction? Denominator times the whole number, 3 times 2, 6. Then add the product to your numerator, which is 7. Then copy your original denominator. Then multiplied by another mixed number. Convert this. 5 times 5 is equal to 25. Then plus 2, that is equal to 27 over 5. Now, as you can see, the numbers are quite bigger when we multiply them because we will multiply 7 and 27. So we need to figure out what, which part of this improper fraction can be cancelled out. Canceling, canceling across, we can cancel out 3 and 27. As you can see, we can eliminate this 3 and we'll make it 1. We can eliminate 27 and we'll make it 9. And we have smaller numbers now. So we can multiply easier and simplify it later. 7 times 9 is equal to what? 60. 3 over 1 times 5, which is equal to 5. Now, the final step here after, after converting from mixed number to improper, multiplying the improper fractions, you need to convert this into mixed number. This one is equivalent to how many? 12 and 3 over 5. This is the answer, guys. Now, if some of you are asking, how did I convert 63 over 5 by 12 over 3 over 5? It goes like this. Let me show you. We will divide 63 by 5. 6 divided by 5, that is equal to 1. 1 times 5 is 5. Subtract the numbers. 6 minus 5 is 1. Bring, bring down 3. Now divide 13 by 5. 13 divided by 5 is 2. 12 times 5 is 10. Then subtract the numbers. So this is 3. As you can see, we have our quotient at the top, which is 12. So this will serve as your new whole number. This remainder is the numerator, and the divisor must be your denominator. As simple as that. And if you want to watch a video about converting mixed number in this one, in this stuff, I will put it here. Okay? Next, let's move on to item number two. In item number two, we are given 1 and 1 half times 2 and 1 over 5. Same steps. Multiply or convert, rather, convert this into improper fraction. 2 times 1, we have 2 plus 1, that is equal to 3. Copy your denominator. 2 times, convert this, multiply 5 times 2, that is equal to 10, plus 1, that is equal to 11 over 5. So, upon checking these improper fractions, we cannot cancel those numbers to make it simple or to make it smaller. Instead, we will multiply directly. So what we have is 3 times 11. We have here 33 
Then, the denominators, 2 times 5, that is equal to 10. As you can see, we have this improper number, improper fraction. This is equal to what? What mixed number? Let me show you the process first. We have 33 divided by 10. 33 divided by 10 is equal to 3. 3 times 10 is equal to 30. Subtract this. This is equal to 3. As you can see, we have our quotient here. This will serve as the new whole number. Your remainder 3 will serve as your numerator. Your divisor is your denom denominator. And this is the answer, guys. 3 and 3 over 10. So right now, let me give you an assignment. Try this. For you to practice more. So we will multiply 3 and 1 over 4 by 1 and 1 over 3. I hope guys na makita kayong sagot nyo or your answer on this given example in the comment section below. So I hope guys you learned something from this video. By the way guys, if you want to follow me more on my social media accounts, you can visit me in our Facebook page Ako si Teacher Gon. So, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at hit na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!